Well, the Liaoning is uh, China's first aircraft carrier platform. It started its journey as a very young and Admiral Kuznetsov class aircraft carrier. Work on it began in the former Soviet Union when the Soviet Union broke up in 1991. Only some 70% had been completed. It found its way to China via a protracted route and is now fitted out as an aircraft carrier for scientific research, experiments and training. So now let's take a closer look at this carrier. The carrier was launched in the Ukrainian city of Nikolaev in 1988 by the then Soviet Union Army. Following the breakup of the Soviet Union in 1991, Ukraine itself was unable to continue the project and construction had ceased by 1992, with the ship structurally complete but without electronics. The Ukrainian government decided to auction it off. In 1998, a Macau company bought Varyag for 20 million U.S. dollars with the purpose of transforming it into a floating hotel and casino in Macau. A year later, Varyag started its journey to China, only to be full of twists and turns. Varyag was refused passage through the Bosphorus Strait by the Turkish government, which said the vessel posed too great a danger to the bridges of Istanbul. Negotiations lasted over a year before Varyag finally got the green light for transit. Meanwhile, the Hulk spent 16 months under commercial tow circling in the Black Sea. Varyag was also denied passage through the Suez Canal, so the Hulk was towed through the Strait of Gibraltar, around the Cape of Good Hope, and through the Straits of Malacca. Finally, it entered Chinese waters in early 2002, already four years since its departure from Ukraine. But it did not reach Macau as originally planned because when Macau was awarded new casino licenses in 2002, Varyag's owner was not among the successful bidders. The Hulk then turned its nose north and was moored in Dalian. In 2005, Varyag was moved to a dry dock where it was cleaned and repainted. Four years later, Varyag was transferred to another dry dock. Its Russian name was removed from the hull and a new radar mast was installed on its superstructure. Last year, the Chinese Defense Ministry announced it was refitting the vessel for scientific research, experiments and training.